Over the last few decades, there have been really exciting developments on the biological technology side. Many people know about the sequencing of the human genome. There are now millions of genomes that have been sequenced and a number of other technologies that have been developed based on that. And what that has led to is, is a huge wealth of data that really we're drowning in and have not made sense of most of it. And so faculty in our department in the computational biology area are working on a variety of different challenges that involve AI applied to biomedical data. Everything from medical images to sequence data to gene expression data, which captures quantitative information about all the genes in a specific genome. One specific problem that we're working on in my lab is predicting disease risk from genomes. There are a lot of people working on this problem. Most of the models that people use assume that individual genes contribute independently, and so they use relatively simple models to predict that. So what we're trying to do in my lab is apply more sophisticated machine learning and AI-based techniques to incorporate interactions between genes. That is, what you have at this location in the genome and that location at the genome may interact, and we want to capture that with machine learning models to better predict disease risk more accurately. So I'm uh, broadly interested in the brain, and so we work very closely with neuroscientists at the medical school here, as well as the Mayo Clinic. One of the projects that we are working on right now is to help en enhance clinicians' ability to interpret uh, tests such as electroencephalograms or EEGs. These tests are really complex and they take a lot of time to interpret. Uh, because of that, clinicians tend to make mistakes. So we are developing AI-based tools to help uh, augment this process and develop more uh, reliable, robust, and reproducible methods for EEG review. So there is, uh, you know, obviously a concern about uh, AI taking over human jobs and all of that, which is a valid concern. But in my view, I believe that we can use AI to augment or uh, perform tasks that are laborious and mundane so that clinicians have more time to focus on things that are more complex that cannot be done with AI.